A plan that would require Pennsylvania hospitals to offer the controversial Plan B emergency contraception to rape victims is coming under fire from some religious groups. Some officials are asking that Catholic hospitals be exempt from the bill because they believe that the so-called morning after pill amounts to a medical abortion. But advocates for rape victims say women who have been raped should be given all of their medical options. Kira McCaffrey opposes this bill. She's the director of communications with the Catholic League and state representative D Daylin Leach of Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, is the sponsor of this bill. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you, JJ. Ms. McCaffrey, let's start with you. I, I know that there is um, some dilemma here because there are no tests to determine when fertilization has actually occurred. And so if, in fact, this was just preventing um, something, just ovulation, not fertilization, would that not be as much a problem for you? No, the, the reason uh, Catholic hospitals want a religious exemption on this bill is because if ovulation has already occurred, perhaps there could have been fertilization. We do not know. Catholic hospitals will issue the emergency contraception pill if they have tested and ovulation has not occurred. The opposition is there can be a fertilized embryo that will then be harmed, be destroyed by this, film, this pill, which can act as an abortive fashion in certain cases. Well, Representative Leach, why do you think it's so important for women, especially victims of rape access to uh, rape? to have access to Plan B in the hospital. It's important that rape victims have a standard of care they can rely on so they're not victimized again by required by being required to have a, a, a pregnancy as a result of a rape. First of all, there's a couple of things I want to clear up. There is no evidence, none whatsoever, no medical evidence that this can cause an abortion. There is no doctor, there's no peer-reviewed study anywhere. Also, not all Catholic organizations oppose this. The Catholic bishops of New York, New Jersey, Wisconsin, uh, and and uh, the Catholic bishops of the United States have all come out in favor of this legislation and supported it in other states, as does the head of the pro-life caucus in Pennsylvania. This bill will prevent abortions because women who are raped tend to have abortions for obvious reasons more frequently than the average population. What this will do is prevent those abortions, and there is no evidence that it causes abortions on the front side. Ms. McCaffrey, is there any sort of middle ground here where perhaps you know certain doctors could say we don't want to offer? this to patients, but there will be other doctors in the hospital who can? The hospitals don't want to be in a position of providing this. Now, this is not keeping the women from access to the drug. The women are free to go elsewhere. There are many, many other ways they can obtain it. It's being sold over the counter. Uh, women aren't being forced to do anything. They're not being forced to stay to the hospital. Certainly, if people want to argue that the women would be inconvenienced by some hospitals not providing it, yes. But we need a balance between the convenience of the woman, uh, who, of course, we, you know, we want to do everything we can for, and the religious freedom of the hospitals. And religious freedom is really the first freedom as understood by the founders of this country and all students of liberty. Are we prepared to strip religious freedom from Catholic hospitals? That's what we're asking here. Yeah, Representative Leach, let me have you respond to that because it's true. These, these victims can go to another hospital and, and be presented with Plan B. Actually, J JJ, that's not true at all. Often women are traumatized during rape and they can't be moved from hospital to hospital. The EC loses 50% of its effectiveness if not given within 12 hours, and most rape victims, for forensic reasons and medical reasons, spend most of those 12 hours in a hospital. It is in that hospital that they have to be provided care. And to say that people don't have to give emergency medical care because they don't agree with it religiously, that's just not a standard that we can live with. I mean, there are religions that don't believe in blood transfusions. Can they refuse a blood transfusion to someone who's rushed to the hospital after an accident? People have to rely on, you know, women who are raped don't choose what hospital they're rushed to. And they don't have, they shouldn't have to worry about what board of directors of the hospital believes in terms of religion. They should expect the best medical care available no matter where they're taken to. Uh, all right, Dalen Leach and uh, Kier McCaffrey, thank you both so much. We're going to have to end it right there. Thank you.